Hi guys, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we talked about the introduction of Angular 16, how we can install different tools to create a new Angular project and how to run it on the browser. In this video, I will talk about the folder structure, different files it creates at the start and different folders it gives us. So let's start from the bottom. So we have this TS files, three TS files. TS means the TypeScript, which is the superset of JavaScript. Every Angular project comes with the TypeScript. You cannot actually use it with the vanilla JavaScript. If you have used JavaScript, you know that in JavaScript, we create variables with the keywords like var, let, const, but we don't have the data types for the variables. We don't have the return data types for the functions or the params. We cannot have the different types and interfaces. We don't have the advanced level of OOP in JavaScript, but TypeScript provide us the data types while creating different variables. We can have the return Return types, we can have the interfaces, we can have the type checking for the return values or the return results from the APIs and a lot more stuff. I will explain you each and every step that I'll be writing using the TypeScript if you don't have any understanding about it. So it has this TypeScript spec.json file spec files are basically referring to the all the unit testing file that we create in our angular components so we can actually modify that we, you can actually ignore these configuration files configuration itself refers to the configuration for any library that we are using in our project so this is the main file typescript tsconfig.json and in this file we can actually modify and change the configuration for the typescript which we use to create the angular components angular service or any TypeScript file we use in our project okay then we have this uh, readme.md file and this file you know that when we push it on the git uh, it is a github or a gitlab or any bit bucket uh, then it actually shows up this description uh, on that repository okay uh, it is by default created by angular cli we can actually ignore it once we will be deploying it on github uh, we will actually modifying it uh, but currently it's just showing different steps to create install and different uh, stuff to actually run unit tests and a lot more stuff this is very important file package.json file you need to actually focus and understand what i'm talking about first of all it gives us the name uh, the name of the project then the version which we can change and then the scripts we have actually written the script in the previous video i explained you what are these key value pairs and we can actually use these keys to actually trigger any kind of command that is written in the values against these keys so i have actually running this project by running the command npm run with the name of the key npm run start if i want to run the unit test of the project i will simply write npm run test command and it will automatically run ng test the reason we have these key value pairs because sometimes we can have the large values against this and we uh, we cannot actually write these large commands in our terminal again and again so we actually set these uh, commands as the values against those keys and then it will automatically trigger those commands. we can actually run other commands from another commands values as well like in here it's just simply running ng build and we can have another key over here so let's say the new key and inside it i can actually run npm run start and i can actually run the other commands as well using this uh, we'll be actually adding some more keys when we will be deploying our angular project uh, but for now uh, for almost all the videos of this tutorial series we won't be needing that we'll only be needing to start the project build the project and run the unit tests and then we have these uh, dependencies uh, objects these are very important these actually referring to the all the third party or the internal angular uh, packages which are required to actually run our angular project first of all it has these angular specific uh, packages for animation compilation forms platforms routing systems then it has this default rxjs typescript library zone.js and the difference between the dependencies and the dev dependencies is that these dependencies will be deployed to the server where we will be deploying our angular project okay dev dependencies means that these packages are only required during development so whenever you install any third party library 
uh, you need to actually uh, refer and add the flag that whether I want to install that dependency in the dev dependency object or in the dependencies object okay uh, so the dev dependencies objects can be installed in the dependencies object but that will be also deployed to the hosting server where it is not even needed so you need to make sure when installing different stuff for running your angular project this is by default created package log.json you can actually delete that as well and uh, then you can actually install it again by simply running the npm install command in your terminal okay then we have this angular dot uh, json in which file we can actually modify and change the configuration for the angular uh, we have this git ignore as you can see that we have uh, we are actually ignoring different folders and files from this project to be pushed to our github or any hosting server okay <clears throat> we have this editor config uh, we can simply ignore that we are using bs code so it has actually installed it over here all right um, and then we have this uh, node underscore modules folder all the dependencies added and shown in this package.json file and all the external and uh, external dependencies of all of these dependencies are also installed in this node underscore modules folder okay so whenever we push our git in our github or any hosting server we actually remove this node underscore modules folder and also the package log the json file whoever actually clone that repository from the github uh, they will actually clone the repository and they will simply have to run the npm install command and npm install command will be actually uh, creating this node underscore modules folder automatically in their system and install all those dependencies by referring to these package or json file dependencies object as well as this dev dependencies object that's why if we go to the git ignore you can see that this folder is already added in git ignore it means that it will not be pushed in our uh, github repository okay so yeah and now this is the most important folder source folder and in this folder we will be actually writing all of our angular code for the components services all the pipes and all the configuration files that we need to create should be added in this source folder first of all we have this styles.scss file this is a global styles in which we can add the different css styles we have this main.tss ts file whenever we run our angular project our project starts from this file main.ts and it actually loads up the different modules of the project by default when we create angular project only one module created which is the app module and it is in the app directory this is the app module whenever the main.ts file runs this app module actually triggers and it has it actually added in the platform browser dynamic dot bootstrap module so it actually load up this module and this module contains the further different components to actually show up on our browser okay which i'll just showing you uh, just now and then we have this index.html uh, this runs uh, by default uh, at the start when our uh, project is running and uh, it has this title which we can actually modify and uh, it has different stuff over here which we can change as well and add new stuff in the head tag as well and then it's actually showing the app root which is referring to the default initial component which needs to be loaded when our angular project runs on our browser okay assets folder actually contains all the images media libraries if we want to add that we can actually add it in our assets folder all right and then we have this app folder which is very important starting with the, off with the app.module.ts file it contains all the uh, modules which we need to use in our project this is the parent module file app.module.ts file later on in this crash course i'll talk about the lazy loading modules and creating further modules as well but for now let's uh, stick to it uh, we have this uh, routing module uh, you remember that when we create a new angular project i entered y in the terminal so that's why it has created this default routing file and add its reference in our app module file over here and it has added it in the imports array so all the components that we need to create in our angular project should be added in this app.module.ts file to be actually used in our angular project so currently we only have one component which is the app component so it has added in our declaration array 
as well as in the bootstrap array so when we create a new component or a new service uh, it has to be added in these uh, declaration and the services has to be added in the providers array okay which i'll be showing you once i will move forward okay then we have this app.component.ts file and this file is actually referring to the default structure for the component we have this um, import from angular core and it provides us the component decorator uh, and use this decorator to actually give the selector name which is the app root if you remember if i go to the index.html you can see that it has actually created a new html element for easy understanding i'm calling a new html element but this is angular calls it a selector okay and when we create a new selector we can actually use this selector in any of the other component and that component will be loaded in any uh, component in angular okay we have this selector name which we can change once we change it we need to change it uh, wherever we are actually using this selector then it has the template url and uh, each component have the separate typescript file each component have separate html file and it has a separate css file and we are actually using the scss uh, library to actually run our uh, style over html here okay uh, i'll be modifying that uh, we can actually directly write template and styles in our component when we have a pretty small html and css uh, added for that component but let's stick to uh, this default uh, layout that it has provided and then we have to add this export class app component because exporting is required to be added in our module here uh, without export it will not be able to show up and import in the module file all right and uh, here we can actually create different variables create functions and all the logic we can write within this component we have this spec file all the unit test needs to be created for that particular component in that spec file and we have this css file it contains nothing we have this html and this file actually contains all the default html that you are currently looking in the browser on the right side of my window which i will just be removing um, and then we have this app routing which i've already shown you so let's go ahead and in this file app dot uh, component uh, dot typescript uh, first of all let's go ahead and search the title here this one dot introduction is being shown on the right side over here uh, you can see that one dot introduction app is running so i'm just going to search app is running in my html and here you can see that it is actually getting the value from that particular component and this is the title it's actually showing the value of that variable with the name title over here okay and it's actually showing the value over here so that we have to actually remove everything from inside if i remove it and now if i save this file and save uh, i don't need to save the package.json file i will just be saving this html file now on the right side you will see that it will become a blank page because currently the app component which is the default component does not contain anything i will simply write this double curly brace which i'll be explaining you um title hello title actually okay and if i save it you will see that it will show me the hello one dot introduction which is the string coming from the app dot component dot ts file all right so i think i've explained each and every file and the folder structure the purpose of it how it's loading uh, and you have got the idea of it if you are a beginner and starting learning the angular framework if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notification for upcoming videos see you in the next videos thank you so much for watching